Welcome guys, I'm super excited today because I have right in front of me the latest model of Anikool, the AK10 Pro XXL dual motor. This model can reach a top speed of 70 km per hour. So, can't wait to open it and let's see what is inside this beast. Alright, so once you open the box, you can see that it's very carefully packed with two boxes to be sure that the box is not damaged during transportation. So, this box here is just for a safety packing. This one here also, we can put it, but I feel there is, there is some material in it, so this one you better to keep it for later. And inside, so you have the dual motor scooter and you need to be sure uh, to have enough space because it's kind of heavy. It's around 40 kilograms, so you better have enough space to pull it out. And that's carefully packed. Okay, so now that we remove everything out of the box, we need to see that all the accessory and everything that you have to unpack properly. I will start with the middle box inside. I'm sure inside there is accessories, user manual and everything. So inside, we have to, um, it's a line to connect with the two tube in the middle, very important. Then we have a tool maintenance kit where inside you will find all the screw and all the extra key that will be necessary for your uh, installation. Then we got a user manual which is fully in English, that's great. And last piece, I'm sure the charger. Oh. And I'm right, charger, which is CE, FCC, and Rose certified. What else do we have in the box? So what I feel here is the end of bar, so we're gonna open it very carefully. Every time you use a knife, be sure that you're not uh, cutting the you're not cutting the aluminium because it's a nice adhesive and you don't want to damage it. So be sure to open it with a lot of carefulness. At least we cannot complain that it's very well packed. So here we have it, but wow, this sounds like a badass handlebar. This part right here is kind of heavy. Looks like foot foot rest part looks like it to me. Well and with a suspension. Okay, so right here this is an additional I mean foot part foot rest that we will assemble here at the back of the vehicle.
right here we have a board which is made as of a strong plastic but also with a soft board so this is what we're gonna screw here in the installation video. So now I'll be finishing with that area right here. Where you need to be very careful not to touch the battery or damage everything because inside is where you have all the mechanical parts, the motors, everything, so you gotta be super careful. Then I'm gonna make a release on the tube where you really have to be super careful because to write often to that a customer damage it. So I advise not using knife if you don't need to. But if it's too tight, then just open like a minimum. Like here, we have a bit of scotch, but be really, really, really careful. Like be smooth and try not to touch the tube or the cable, but only. All right, just like removing a sleeve. All right, so that's it for the unboxing of uh, the part. I'll see you in my next video for the installation. Hi, welcome to that video where we show you how we can install the Anycool dual motor model. So, in order to make a proper installation, you will have to unbox everything. You need to have in front of you the scooter, the user manual, the screw and the tube to connect the two bar. You will need the charger for later. You need the foot rester. The toolkit with the X wrench, the handle bar to fix, and lastly, the footrest board. So come closer and let's assemble this beast. So the first step will be to take the handle bar and to place it. So put each tube inside, and according to your size, you can see you have the first hole right here, or you can put if you're smaller the holes perfectly. Once you need to be sure that each holes are in perfect alignment and then once you place it you can place this bar right here in the middle of the two bars. Make sure that all the holes are connecting and then use that screw right here to place it inside the nut and insert it slowly then you can use also the X wrench which first you can come you can use by hand and you can finish later with the X wrench Once the tube are connected, you can also pull up each of the tube here. Then when everything is placed in the lock, you have behind. You have to pull over here the safety lock and to be sure to fasten it behind that it's locked. It's very important for your safety, so always remember to place that. When this is fastened, you will see the tube are in a safe position. After that, you will have to place the board over the battery to cover all the battery and the plastic equipment. So place it on that side, insert it slowly. Then make sure that each holes are matching, so then you can screw. Then take your M4 screw and your X wrench and place, start placing all the screw. But without screwing too much in the beginning, otherwise you will block it. So just
And so as soon as all your screw are in place, be sure to screw it very tight to ensure a waterproof system. All right. Last step will be to screw the foot rest area in the behind. So what you can do first is open it in order to screw four screws and be sure that the holes are matching. And finally place the spring in the inside on each side so your foot brake can be flexible. Okay, so now the final stage after you connect all the connectors together is to place the two tube in place. So first make sure like to push it all the way, then use the safety lock here, pull down the lever at the maximum, put back the safety and do the same on the other side. Be sure that it's well handled. Then make a final check with every screw, every detail to be sure that it's screw. And then don't forget to charge it for the first try. And then start to have the fun. See you on the road. <laughs>